Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lapfix. Got another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about backing up your bookmarks and finding that actual file location where it's actually stored on here. You're probably asking yourself, why do I even care about this? What does it matter? Can I just go to my browser, go to the little three dots in the corner there, go to the bookmark manager, and then export my bookmarks as an HTML file so I can use it on any desktop-based browser. Can I just do that? Isn't that the best way to really do that? That's great if you can do that. And if you're able to, well, that's pretty much the end of the video here. That's not for those type of people that have that just want to make a backup. We're talking about maybe you're not able to access an operating system. Maybe you're not able to access your browser. Maybe your browser has a problem. You're not able to do that very uh, simply. There is a place where the browser actually reads the bookmarks, right? And it creates a file there. And you're going to want to find where that file location is. Now, we're going to be showing that uh, for you right now today. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're on Windows 10, but this will obviously work for Windows 11 as well. It's going to be doing the same thing. And um, what you want to do is you want to go to the Start menu here. So you want to right-click the little icon, the Windows icon, and you just want to hit File Explorer, or just a way to bring up this, which is going to be pretty much your folders, your PC, your computer. Uh, what you also want to do is you want to access your user folder. This could be anything you created. This could be something that was created from before. It could be owner or whatever name that you put in there. So you want to click that. And you'll see this. There'll be a list of stuff here, 3D objects, contacts, desktop. This isn't a typical file that's just saved like on your desktop documents downloads unless you created one from before. What you need to do is you need to go to your folder options here. Unless you might already have this, you can skip this part if you already have this, if you can see this. But you want to expose the hidden folders here. And you want to go to view. And then you want to hit show hidden items. And you'll see this actually pop up. And on Windows 11, it might be a little bit different to get that, but the whole point is you want to make sure you show Windows. Um, the whole point is you want to make sure that you show hidden items because this is going to show and hide the files and folders. And under that, you want to go to something that's called, uh, you saw this pop up, and this is the only one that popped up. It's called App Data. And uh, from here, you want to go to the folder called Local. And from there, you want to go to whatever that you have. So if we have Google Chrome, we want to go to Google. If you have Brave Software, we can go to Brave Software. It'll be right there, but we'll be doing, uh, it's the same pretty much either way. So we'll just be showing you through Google Chrome. So we're gonna click Google, we're gonna go to Chrome, and then you'll see user data. Um, it's gonna be the same thing here. I'm gonna make another window for those people who have Brave. I'll just do that real quick. So we'll go to Brave Software, Brave Browser, and then there's user data. It's gonna be the same thing. So I'll, I'll connect, I'll still continue with Google because this is the same exact process here. So you go to user data, and then from there, you want to be, you're going to be looking at a lot of stuff here. Um, you don't want to remove or touch anything else here. Now, you're going to be having, a, if you have a username, it might be something else. Um, for this, because I just have a default username. And for most people, if you have a local account, it's just going to be a default user. Um, so you want to have something that's called default or whatever username that you have. So if you have a name tied to it, could it could have that as well. Uh, you want to click that or double click it. Now you want to scroll down and there's an item. So this is the file and location where the bookmarks are actually backed up. So all you have to do is you can just copy this. You could, you could paste it anywhere else that you want. I'm going to be pasting it just right here on, on there. And um, you also have a back file. I'll talk about that in just a little bit, but let's go to Google real quick, right? Let's just prove this. So I have two bookmarks here, right? There's only two, so it's, I'm not going to miss them if, if I lose them, right? So I'm going to close this browser. I'm going to delete both of these here because they're bookmarks, and the other one's just like a backup file. So I'm going to delete them. Now, if I reopen my Google Chrome, you see it's totally gone now, right? And there is no other things that's, that's been created. So my bookmarks are gone. So now if I want to restore the file, you can just copy it. If you want to make a copy, you can make a backup, however you want to do that, and just paste it back anywhere in this folder in your user uh, name folder, so the largest default. So most people are probably going to have default if you have a local one. And it's going to be back, you see something called bookmarks again. Now I'm going to reopen Chrome. And... I actually looked at my second screen and we see that we have our bookmarks that are back here. So that's all you really have to do. Okay. And another way you could do, because if you have this bookmarks.back file, it's going to be the same type of thing. Um, it's, it is a backup file. So you can make a copy of this if you want to. So we have it on the desktop here. Now, if I want this to work, all you have to do is sometimes you might just have that. If you only have that, then this is the backup file of it. And if, if you want it to work the same way, you can do that. What you want to do is you want to rename it. You want to just call it bookmarks. You want to rename the file extension. You want to erase that old file extension. And it's going to tell you that it could, it could become unusable. That's not the case in this one because of what we're doing and what we're trying to make it do. And it says, are you sure you want to change it? You want to hit yes. And it acts the same way as a normal book, bookmarks file there. So that's a real quick way of doing it.
Okay guys, so again, this is mainly focused on people who have problems with the operating system and can't open Chrome. This is the default file location where it's usually saved. Now if you have other browsers, it's going to work a pretty much a very similar type of way too. Maybe the file location is a little bit different. So one more thing I want to add to this video is for, for those people who do have like a blue screen and they're not able to access the operating system, you obviously want to grab the library folder that you have there. Make sure you grab the app data and where that location is because that's how you would want to back it up. If you want to do that, uh, we actually made a video talking about how to make a Windows 10 or Windows 11 bootable and you can actually make a bootable that way, access your operating system that way, as long as there's no bit locker, and then grab that folder and everything should be fine. Then you can make a backup for it when you install a brand new operating system. Everything should be good. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.